Hey, thanks so much for pressing play on our latest episode. Producer Dub is sitting in for Paula as she celebrates her daughter's birthday. So we talk all things man, sports, sex, camping, just no beer. Other than that, it's a great show. Thank you so much for supporting us. Enjoy. It's another uncensored look at the world around you from sisters who will say just about anything to anyone at any time. It's the Uggs. Jamie. I know. Isn't she beautiful? (laughs) And filling in for Paula, producer Dub. SOS, SOS. Uncensored as always, it's time for the Ugly Truth. Welcome to The Ugly Truth. This is episode 384. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> we are not sisters who podcast today. Manly ugh. Spouses who podcast. We're spouses who podcast. So welcome to The Ugly Truth. Yes, Paula has taken a week, well, the day off, I should say. The, yeah. The day off. Yeah. It feels like a week. She needs to recover. No, she is celebrating her 10-year-old daughter's birthday, which I'm sure we're going to hear all about on Wednesday's show. She did the full VIP treatment. Yeah. Take him to a hotel. Recover. <laughs> they did Uber, and I can't wait to give her uh, props for not getting Uber XL. She got Uber Black. Yeah, because you know you're going to get a pro driver. Well, not only that, but you're going to get a fancy car. Yeah, well. Uber XL, yeah. they would have been squared about in a silver giant minivan. minivan. Yes, that's correct. So happy birthday to little Miss Olivia, who turns 10. And happy birthday to your daughter, Natalie. Yes. Today turns 25. Oh, my God. She can rent a car without parental she help. She can. She can. <laughs> Although, will she, though? Wouldn't will she? Wouldn't she rather your dad do will it for she? you? Well, yeah. I don't know. Daddy, will you rent a car for me? <laughs> that's the nature of the beast. No, just the daughters, though. Yes. So happy birthday to those two delightful baby Uggs. Baby Uggs. And uh, on with the show. So yes, so Daryl is sitting in with me. I am married to him. This is also AKA Producer Dub, if you do not know. I am a very expensive, highly sought after podcast producer. He may work for free, but trust me, I pay. (laughs) I pay. For sure. All right, well, let's get right into it then. Um, There's been a few amazing sporting events that have been occurring in the last 48 hours. The first is uh, this morning, the reason that we posted this show late, is we were watching the FIFA Women's World Cup, Netherlands versus United States, and of course, the United States finally, not finally, this is their four-peat, I think is what they said. that's right. Two to zero. Yeah. And I just have to say... I have watched enough men's soccer to know that they act like big babies on the field. These there's, women are serious badasses. There's a lot of flopping in men's soccer. There is no flopping going on in this there women's sport. There was blood sport. drawn today. Several blood draws. <laughs> play like a girl. That is how Word. the men's soccer teams should be playing. They act like divas, and the women are like these scrappy, badass women. I mean, they're so tough. Yeah. I think I even commented we were watching. I said, outside of water polo, I don't think I've seen a group of ladies this badass. Yeah, water polo is no joke. But, no. But yeah. No. You know, when I was a – soccer was – I loved soccer when I was a little kid because all I knew how to do was run around and kick things. So I think that that was, like, fun for me. Did you play but soccer? Now, oh, yeah, in elementary school. What? Not Not, like, on a team or anything. Oh. Like, just for, like – for like, it's all we did at, at recess or PE or whatever – but, you know, when all I had to do was run around and kick things, that was I'm fine. I'm surprised that you didn't actually play competitively. No. Did no, your parents I, hate it? Did they hate the soccer No, I, No, I just, once, that was all pre-baseball. I, you know, once I got into baseball, it was 100%. So. You know, you always act like it was, you know, oh, yes, it was a bit. You were like seven. I know. Because you played baseball the whole time. I know. But I'm just telling you, that was my only exposure to soccer was like recess so and when, stuff. So and, kindergarten is yeah, when... Well, I mean, no, I mean, I played them both. <laughs> well, I didn't play it oh, as a team. Grade? As a team. So I was pl- even recess. when I was playing baseball, I was playing soccer during recess because... Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I'll give it to you, but... It's not a game not. that I enjoy. Um, probably the only one, but it's probably tied with uh, basketball. Oh, not. I don't mind basketball. Well, I like like oh, I oh, like, I'm terrible at it. I like, can't play it. <laughs> like I like watching 
certain things in those two sports. Like right. women's World Cup, I don't even care about the men's World Cup. Like I don't Manchester, blah blah Manchester blah. I don't United. really don't even care about those. But the Spanish. women's World Cup near the end is good, and that's kind of like watching for me. March Madness is also good, but the pros, yes. I can yes. really care less. Well, it was amazing. Yes, and. Uh, I believe, if I am not mistaken, I'd write the name down. Megan Rapinoe, who's the captain, yep. the, the one Purple that's very hair. vocal. Yep. Yes. And Rose Lavelle was the young girl that hit the second she goal. She looks 10. She's, yeah, she, I believe she won the bronze soccer ball today, which is, I don't know if it's player of the game, but it's some kind yeah. of award that she And then Rapinoe, I got, think, got the gold boot or something like I, that. It's like most goals. Or, I don't oh, know. that's cool. Yeah. yeah. See, we know zero about yeah. soccer. But football. Um, what I do know football. is... <laughs> Okay, this is not Europe. Football. I'm calling it soccer. Whatevs. Whatevs. Is the goalkeeper for the Netherlands, although they lost, she was so incredible to yeah. watch. And I don't know a ton about soccer. I admit, I don't know much. I'm a bandwagoner, just like most people. The and the Netherlands were playing very physical. I mean, yeah, I know it's a physical sure. game anyway, but oh man, it was just, it's like watching water polo with no water. I, it's, it's so violent and exhausting <laughs> i was tired i and, and you know at some point i'm watching going i could never 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 play this game i am so not athletic see that's why i would flop that's why Be i'm like, an athletic supporter <laughs> like i would trip over myself and flop down and go i need a break those who can't athlete cheer. Although now <laughs> cheerleaders are such athletes. If you can't be an athlete. Be, be an, an athletic, athletic supporter. supporter. So moving on, last night uh, you took the plunge and you subscribed to ESPN Plus against my better judgment. I yeah, just, it, you know, I here's the thing I've come to realize. I am not a cheap person, but when it comes to television, I get resentful. Anyway, <laughs> so... So Here the UFC, go. the okay. UFC uh, yes. last night was worth the price of admission. It was. All of the fights were super good. Yeah. What's um, the chick's name? I can't remember her name right Nunez? now. Oh God, Amanda Nunez is so dominant that she doesn't she have could anyone be a to soccer player. She doesn't have anyone to fight. <laughs> yeah. Like the, she's cleared out the category. There's like no dominant, one left. Like first she's round ridic. knockouts, everybody. Yeah, so. and I think that's the kind of thing that uh, that's the downfall of women's MMA is there's just not a lot of them. There, it's still so new in the UFC, yeah. specifically that there's nobody else to fight. What, what I love about it too is it's not just that she's fought her fight or whatever. She's beat the last two people fighting their fight. Like, I know. Like, like uh, Cyborg is a striker, so she went up and punched and punched beat her. the shit out of her. It's it's like and she's then, like, tie one hand behind my back yeah. and then we'll do <laughs> and then, it. And then at the end of the fight, she obviously, if if you didn't know, she head kicked Holly Holm. She which did, is, and knocked Holly her Holm out. is a legendary kickboxer. Yes, and, and boxer. And, and mm-hmm. she... Literally said, you know, I think I'm going to knock her out like she would try and knock me out and just kicked her in the head and knocked her out. Just well, like as that. I was saying last night after we were reviewing all of the fights that we had watched, it's it they make it look so easy. These professionals. Yeah, some of the dominant they're ones. They're so sure. calculated and they're so aware of what they're doing. And it looks like they're just in there, you know, like I would be just going for for big hits and running around trying not to get smacked in the face. But yeah. these people know what they're doing. Yes. Now, the other uh, a hilarious, not funny, but funny fight was Ben Askren uh-huh. and Javier M- uh, Masvidal. Masvidal. Both big mouths. Now, Masvidal, he's amazing right now. Like he is in proper form. I think, but I have to tell you, well, Ben Askren, who was in um, Pride, I think before. No, well, no, he was. He was an Olympian. Yes, and and uh, he was in something. They finally got him in the UFC. He was an MMA fighter, but not UFC. He he talks all this shit, and then two seconds into the fight, gets a flying knee to the head. Immediately goes unconscious, and they call the fight in five seconds. Fastest knockout in history. And I really want to know what Masvidal said to him when he got down in his face. <laughs> I don't know. He was, like, he was just doing the one, two, three out. Wow. Basically, Ben Askren was talking a lot of crap yeah. about Javier. He was actually talking about like his culture, and I'm not. Ba- I'm not big on that at all because yeah, you know they did that to Khabib an and. I just don't like that shit at all. And so Javier's like, that's fine. He goes, I'm going to show him he doesn't belong here. And he, he goes, did. He goes, he goes, he Joe did. Rogan goes, why the flying knee? 
Because he's a bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was Im- impressive. Oh, my God. It was, was impressive. Like, wow. And it was calculated. Called it wasn't even. Yeah. Yes, he Yeah, did. because he, the other guy's mm-hmm. an Olympic wrestler. He, he knew he was He put his head down, down immediately Dumbass. and got knocked the fuck out is I what mean, happened. I mean, it was like the perfect, perfect. It was amazing. Knee. I've seen that kind of thing yes. before, like a Superman yes. puncher, a flying knee to open mm-hmm. a match. But, mm-hmm. man, that was ridiculous. He was unconscious for a very long time. Yeah, he was out. Anyway, anyway, and then John Jones and yeah. Tiago Alvarez, who, by the Thiago way, Santos, Santos, ap- apologies, was impressive. All the people in Brazil have the same first name, so it's okay. Tiago, okay. <laughs> so the thing is, is that there was a lot of complaints that John Jones looked weird. And I'm like, I don't think John Jones looked weird. I think John Jones was incredibly conservative because this guy could have kicked his ass and yeah. taken that title. Yeah, and that, he almost did, by yeah. the way. Yeah, he's 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 incredibly. Yeah, talented. He, he was being very there was Cautious. a lot of respect and he was yes. being very cautious felt he was winning the fight i did hear that that was the first time he had lost on a scorecard really yeah that was the first like one judge well, had it 48 47 okay, santos all, which i don't agree with he but- did not that is a ridiculous card or that was a ridiculous scorecard because he did not win the whole fight well no the 48 47 is three rounds to two i got it right? and i don't but, agree but at I don't, all i don't think santos took three rounds i think at any i point, think but, i think he took two yeah the first yeah, no, two which is what the other two judges had yes asked, but exactly but that was the first time Ever. he didn't lose the fight obviously no. but that was the first time he's got a split decision even i was just wondering at what point because he's so amazingly talented but at what point will his age start to show like who john jones you know how old he is he's 34 31 oh shit he's, he's young. 31 he's a young he's got another five years of this Damn. Easy. and he never gets hit in the head never i mean even after that fight he wasn't yeah. i mean his leg was fucked up i mean when, yes. that, when that tightened up on him yeah he's all oh yeah but he had to, he had he needed more help than santos did no tiago santos left the uh, arena in a wheelchair in a wheelchair <laughs> but off the out of the octagon he was fully getting carried but, but was, the welt on his on oh Jones's yeah leg was it was one good. of those fights where you it's so technical yeah. and the audience hates it because there's no haymakers there's no throw you know no one's on the ground choking yeah. out so it's really hard, but it's like, it was so, oh, uh, and I'm like, I know, but it's like when a GSP used to fight and people would hate it because they were so people. damn boring, yeah. but they were so, so technical. And I think that's yeah. why it seemed weird because John Jones actually used technique, yeah. which he never had to Well, before. and you know what? Again, I think he was challenging himself a little bit because if he gets, especially in the later rounds, if he gets Santos on the ground, it's over. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Like, I mean, I know he's got jujitsu and stuff, but... The, when you have a guy that's got like a nine inch reach advantage and he gets you on the ground like that, that's <laughs> he's like, gonna that's wrap his even, arm around you twice. It's not even fair. So they stay yeah. standing the whole time. But anyway, I just want to thank you. What? For throwing me the softball of talking about sports. To well, open up the show. what else are we I gonna talk about? That. My period not coming. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> The fact that uh, I'm a week and a half late, which means I'm menopausal no. in my in my brain. Do you I know? I mean, okay, we'll move back. We'll move on to the Giants in a minute. But do you realize how much space it's taking up in my brain? Of course, I do. You do? Oh yeah, I know. That's why you've been the way you've been for. What is that supposed so. to mean? Well, you've just been in a bad mood. You told <gasps> me. You told me you were in a bad mood. I'm not. I announced it so that you would leave me the fuck alone. I know. All right. I know, but I know and that's trying why. Trying to give me champagne. To loosen me up, I'm not not aware of your tricks. I wasn't trying. To I be allow subtle. it. I just I even, allow it. I even handed it to you, saying bubbles make everything better. Except okay. this. Except this. I'm already I'm already googling menopause natural and like kava <laughs> tea and whatever cohosh black cohosh. Uh, I think all the travel and the presence of a uh, of a new female in the home. <laughs> You make it sound like a wolf pack. <laughs> has uh, has uh, just as much impact. But I'm not a doctor, so. I'm not a doctor. I just play Your one first on name could be doctor. <laughs> All right. So uh, finally, let's talk about your beloved San Francisco Giants. Yeah. Now, they did not start the season well. No. Uh, no well, actually, well, compared to what a lot of experts would tell you they should have done, they have done a lot better. I mean, so oh, they, they thought were, they were going to be abysmal this uh, year. Uh, Absolutely, and, and they're not good. I mean, they're you know nine they're games, something streak. like that. But but um, you know, they got a lot of young players that are pr- playing really well, and and they swept Dick, the Padres. Dick, Dick, oh yeah, Dick. Dickerson. 
I've, I, th- I hear they've started saying that to everybody who hits a home run now. They I have. mean, Slater uh, hit that grand slam opposite field last night. So it's a little in the weeds for you guys, maybe, but I am a huge Giants fan, and it's good to see them kind of sticking with it. And you know what? It's We're never going to do this, but at the end of the day, we're six games out of the wild card right. halfway through the season. That is not... I mean, there are four or five teams that are worse. way worse off than us, and that's not where I expected us to be. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 cool, and it's it's great to see them, you know, winning, especially at being Bochy's last season. You know, I think that uh, Madison Bumgarner is a distraction. You know, and whether or not he's going to get traded, the trade deadline isn't for a month. I don't want him to get traded. I don't. I I really don't. I as like unless unless we get a game changer for that guy, which I just don't see happening. I hate most I just, of our pitchers. I just I hate most. No, of well, Melanson is terrible. Oh, that guy needs to go, but he's got a fat contract, so we're stuck with the with him. Well, I mean, yeah, because it'd be one thing if he's pitching well and we could trade him or something. But he never pitches well. Never. He's a, when did he ever pitch well? Well, before, once before we before he became a giant. That's why we got Maybe him. he hates it here. He was supposed to be a closer, and he just, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I think it's cool that they're playing well. I'm i am upset about the trades that are going to happen because I'm pretty sure they're going to. They're going to dismantle. Yeah, I just, I the only, the, really the only player that anybody's worried about getting traded is Mad, Mad Bum, Bum and, and they're talking, you know, twins and stuff like that. Yes, it's like, I heard the well, twins. Okay, so here's my take on the twins. What? The twins? Is that Mad Bum is going to hate the twins. Why? Cuz he can't hit. Oh, that's right. He's pitcher only there. I mean, they I mean, you don't there's no rule that says you have to DH a pitcher, so it's not like they couldn't allow him to hit, but He probably put that in his contract. Oh my god. He'd be I like, I'm say. only coming if I can hit. <laughs> he's such a man. He's like such a he's all that is man. Yeah. The lumberjack kind of guy. Yeah, I don't you know, even like, know. Like I told you that the, the little town that he's from. Mad they, Bum? Yeah, they used to Bum call Garner. it Bumgarner Village or something like that, but it had nothing to do with him. Like so many Bumgarners have grown up there, generations <laughs> of Bumgarners. That, yes. And there's like more people fit in Oracle Park, the, the giant stadium, than the are in his he's town. From. Yeah. He's a phenom. And he just and he still lives there. Like he he's a bajillionaire and he still lives there. He bought his wife a horse for her anniversary. Yeah. He chops down trees in the off season. It throws hatchets. hatchets. I've seen it. <laughs> not the not the drunk new uh, thing to do hatchet throwing. Would, I wouldn't be surprised throwing. if he had an ox named Blue. <laughs> like he's so big. You never know. You never know. You never know. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Enough sports. No more sports. No more sports games. <laughs> that's our sports for the year, everyone. That's our sports talk, ladies and gentlemen. Because we are. Do you want to start a new sports podcast? What do we call? Oh, God, never. <laughs> I, Ugly sports? No. Okay. Well, we could, but I, I'd be like, yeah, I know. I, I have to Google everything you guys are saying right now. Speaking of sports, camping's a sport. Uh, Yes. So I did something dumb. <laughs> I was... Where was I? This is going to be great because I'm going to have audio proof that you agreed to do this. I was somewhere, and I, I, I think I was sitting out on our deck at night. And it was a really nice night, summer night, kind of breezy. I could see all the stars. And I'm like, you know, we keep talking about taking Malia camping because we've never taken her camping. Now, That's I don't. Youngest. Okay, first of all, I don't feel bad about it because I am not the outdoors person. That's you. And you aren't, you don't take any kind of initiative when it comes to stuff like that. So I don't feel bad about it. Yeah. It's your fault. Okay. Are you patronizing me right now? No, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. All right. It's just. Yes. What? Well, I was just. This is this is gonna sound like an excuse, so I don't want to give it. But do it. Um, because so it's it's bad. You. It's bad fatherhood. But um, <laughs> as I got older and as I was working a lot, it was so rare to go away. Like it was a one time a year thing, you know, in terms of timing. And I should just made the time. Just throwing it out there right now. But um, it was my getaway, and so here's the other I didn't thing. Didn't want to take girls with me. I was going to just say that. Here's the other thing is that you're basically surrounded by girls. I mean, we have our our son, but yes. he's, you know, he's an older, way older than all the other kids. I think I'm going to so. take him out for a beer today. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> I was sitting out there and I let it sweep me up and I said, we should take Malia camping before she starts college. I fell out of my chair. And you did not, but you got very excited. <laughs> And I said, do you think we could do that? And you're like, oh, well, uh, 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 yes. I, yeah. <laughs> and I said, well. I was astonished. Do you mean ocean or what? I said, well, I don't know, but I want it to be waterfront and I want there to be a toilet. And <laughs> other than that, I'm I'm open, but I don't want to go super far away where yeah. there's bears or whatever. 
So we found you found a spot. You found a lakefront spot yep. in the foothills of California, so, yeah, Northern uh, California. Yeah, like halfway between here and Tahoe. So we are going camping. Yes. And you are going to be surrounded by girls. I am. So I am immediately went and realized that I was not going to like the tent that we have because I haven't been in that tent ever. It's only ever been used for the man trip, which means I don't want to be in it. <laughs> so I'm buying a new tent that has a built-in patio, like a zip-in. Don't so I can buy anything. Sit in it. It's a Coleman. Yeah, I know, but do not. What's wrong buy, with the Coleman? Don't buy anything until I see it, please. I showed it to you. I know, but that I need to look at it. Like it <laughs> needs to be the right kind of. Okay, tent. here's the thing. You don't get to tell me what kind of tent I'm sleeping in. It's not going to be one I, of those backyard I, tents. I, I don't. I want to tell you. I just want to make sure that it's sufficient for what we need. It will be sufficient. You are the camping expert. Is that is that what you're saying? <laughs> I am the comfort expert. <laughs> I know what I want. Okay. So, do you want a tent that hangs up, like connects to the back of the truck, and it's huge? Okay. And... First of all, I almost try, I almost wanted to get this tent that actually doesn't touch the ground at all. Yeah. See, that's what these are. No, no, no. It literally you use the trees to create this suspended tent, so you're not on the ground. Yes. So they have all. them that do that with my truck. That's what I I'm want. To tell you. It was six hundred dollars, and I didn't think. No, they have. I'll show you. Okay, I, mean, I don't want to sleep in the back of the truck. No, you're not in the back of the truck. It connects to the truck. I don't know, man. So get it off the ground. You know, you and the truck. Okay. You you can do it. All right. I don't I don't know. All I know is that I thought, you know what? I don't want to sleep on just a sleeping bag. Well, no, you're gonna we're gonna need some like an airbed or so a cot or something. So I I'm not where I'm not sleeping in a cot, but I googled tent beds because I thought maybe there's beds for tents now because it's been so long since I've been camping. And when I Googled tent beds, all I got were little kid beds with little tents over them for their bedroom. And I went, okay, no, that's not what I mean. No. So I said, beds for tents for camping. And I got sleeping bags. I'm like, okay, no. I want cushions. How do I get that? What is that called? So ultimately, I got to it. Yeah, They're just blow up mattresses yep, exactly. but they have these ones that are meant for people who go hiking a lot and like spend the night out on the mountains mm -hmm. which i would never do but apparently you can blow it up in 10 breaths and it's very light and you just lay it on top of the ground and then you sleep on it and in your sleeping bag of course yep i don't want to make a bed in our tent and the reason why is because creatures can get in so what i want is my sleeping bag with this pad we're gonna zip the sleeping bags together right? no no i'll let you sleep next to me <laughs> but that's it you don't want one big no bag. no it's so unsanitary no <laughs> it's like why is it different than a bed because well there's dirt everywhere <laughs> so no that's not happening i don't want to go camping anymore the other thing is how do we procure coffee like that is essential it's easy how, do you have a, a an apparatus that creates Brad coffee? Brad has it, but I'll get us a new one. It's a coffee pot, percolator. Okay, but not Folgers crystals, though, like no, real we can get coffee. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. no Nespresso can come with us, right? Right. <laughs> yes. That's okay. Accurate. That and um, coffee is important. Oreos. Yeah. We have to have the Oreos. And uh, now the toilet situation. Yes. There is a toilet. Yes, there's a, there are bathrooms and water spigots. Are these things that you have to pay for? No. So I don't need to have like a roll of quarters to no. to turn on the no. toilet or anything? No, it's like, it's like going to a, out, it's like a, they're not even porta potties. It's an actual bathroom with running water. There's, Finally. There's no showers, but there's other things. Yes, we've all, we, we all made that concession. Yeah. There's dry shampoo and there's a lake, so yeah. I'm not. And we're only good. going for two nights, right? So. Only two nights. Um, <laughs> I, I'm already. Well, well, we'll see how it goes night one. <laughs> I'm already. Listen, I have cut out of camping trips after one night. I know. So that is a possibility. And it's less. It's like an hour away max. So, it's, I'm, so it's, um, I was thinking a that store close. We might everything. need a caravan in case I need to get out of there, <laughs> so I can leave no. and you can stay. No, we only have room for two cars. Okay, so what That's I'm it. so well, I will. Okay, well we have other people coming that can't fit in the truck. Okay, so so if you caravan, you're gonna have to bring people with you. Finally, my final demand. Okay. <laughs> is I'm not eating anything you fish out of the lake. Oh, okay. I'm not eating anything. I'm not doing that. Why? Because there might be parasites. 
I just don't want to do it. I don't want to eat whatever. And I don't want to have to deal with bones and things. And you're going to forget a spice and it's going to taste like lake. And I just, I don't want to do it. All right. I don't want you using any kind of We will go completely meal planned. I won't keep, I wouldn't keep any catches anyway. And I don't want bologna or hot dogs. What? Yeah. How do you think we camp? I don't know, but I don't we want do any of those bacon wrapped asparagus and gourmet chili and like. Who's we? The, when I go camping, that's what we do. Food is a very important part of how we roll <laughs> in the camping trip. We take steaks and. Are you going to have like a. There's a grill in our campsite even. All right. Charcoal, which you like. I do very yeah. much like charcoal. There you go. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm going to be a happy camper. Yes. You even got the shirt. I got the shirt. <laughs> Which is hilarious. And uh, so that's what's happening. Are you are you still excited about it? Yeah. Even though I'm giving you all these specifically yeah, no, necessary these are, rules. These are easy. These are good. If you try to unzip my sleeping bag at any time, <laughs> I will be really angry. No champagne will fix it. Uh... I'm right. so nervous. Nervous? What yes. are you nervous about? Because I'm afraid of animals, and I don't want to get bitten by anything, well, and I don't want to some fall. Take bug spray. You're fine. Ooh. We'll go hiking. I really want to, but I'm afraid of rattlesnakes. And I don't think you're going to find too many rattlesnakes up there. I don't know. It's and in you the know, mountains. It's... The worst predator of all is human. Yeah, it's, so. you're going to be fine. I mean, if anything, you're going to be annoyed by people being close to us. I know. Yeah. That's what I said. Human. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Are you? Do you have anything in mind? Are you excited about anything beyond? No, I just I we have a couple of things to do before then. You mm-hmm. know, like we're going off on weekends and anniversary and all that kind of stuff. So I haven't really focused on it yet. But I will. I will uh, be digging into the camping gear and making sure we've got all the best of the best. <laughs> which I have pretty good stuff, but obviously we're going to need a new tent, an additional tent. Um, I but, know. Uh, Listen, maybe I know that another lantern. But there are women out there who camp all the time, yeah. and it's super fun, and they love it, and they don't even do the glamping thing. Like they do hardcore camping with their men, yep, or families or whatever. Great. I am not that person. I have done it more than enough. I'm only doing this so that my daughter can say I've been camping once, and that's the end of it. So I uh, was looking for, as you know, I was looking through photo albums this morning. Yes. And to get an old picture of Natalie to post on Facebook for her birthday, because mm-hmm. I always like to have, find some embarrassing child photo for the kids. And um, I also came across um, probably the last time we went camping <laughs> together. So 20 years ago? As a family, when mm-hmm. everybody was super little and Kenzie was filthy within five minutes and everything. And I saw a picture of you in a boat fishing. In I know. A, in a bikini. I know. We can do that again? No. Why? Because I'm not 20 years younger. So no. Damn it. I was in my 20s when I did that. I'm I'm aware. I was there. I just... Yeah, no. That's... Stop with the thigh. No. <laughs> no. Not going to happen. With the what? I thought you grabbed my... It, you were trying to grab my thigh like, uh, no, oh, baby. That was a court. Oh. Come how on, am I doing on how, <laughs> how am I doing on eye contact? Am I already making more eye contact yeah, than Paula did? Yeah, but it's did? fine. Okay, it's good. fine. We're weird, though. <laughs> yeah. My sisters and I don't do eye contact very well. <laughs> if we do eye contact, something's really wrong. <laughs> That's just SOS, the way that is. SOS. Very wrong. Um, okay, so um, now you edit our show. I do. So you know that we are constantly making assumptions about men and what what we think they think all the time based on our own personal experiences. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, I have a couple of questions that have come up recently that I wanted your man input on. Okay. And you have to answer it. You can't deflect. I, I, why? Because I want a straight answer. Oh, all right. All right? Yeah. Okay. Man talk. Here we go. <laughs> uh, first. and can we, can we go back to sports? This isn't going to throw anyone under the bus because although I personally am not a big fan of it, it doesn't mean that I don't understand it. Okay. okay. So with that in mind, I have noticed a trend lately. I listen to, you know, I listen to tons of podcasts. Yes. Many of them are comedians, and most are male, because there's not as many female comedians that have podcasts. Just you. No, there's a couple, but they're just different. Sure. And so I have noticed that, and these are really raucous, hard men, and I don't mean erect men. (laughs) I mean just hard living. And they are, one by one, contemplating, and finally do give up porn. 
And it's oh, usually yeah. around the age of 40. And they all have different reasons, but they never really articulate it. They say, um, eh, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, you know. And I wonder, and, is it... And that's not an acceptable answer to you? No, because I think, I, I understand that some, t- some men aren't able to communicate, but these are comedians. That's what they do for a living. And yet they still can't seem to articulate why they're giving it up. But what I'm noticing is it's a pretty significant trend. And I'm not talking about just the Bill Burrs of the world where he's trying to be a better husband all the time. I'm talking about guys who don't give a shit what their wives think. They're giving up porn. So I'm I'm just curious. I have my thoughts on the matter, but I'm curious what you think it is. Well, I saw the post that you did where you kind of it was a like, poll. like a poll and what were the two options it was thrill like, is gone like you're bored because you've, you've yeah. it's oversaturated or uh you're you've matured i struggled with that because i it, i can only get two answers they only let me do two picks yeah but it's both oh. that, that is that is the answer in my opinion I, mm. I think it's a combination of the two i think i think first of all obviously when when i was a kid porn was Playboy, Playboy, or HBO. <laughs> actually, so it was Skinamax. real, real sex, right? At most, right? Or actually, more accurately, we didn't even have HBO back in the day. So I would be downstairs, like at <laughs> night, um, after everybody had gone to bed. And if you, <laughs> if you um, flip the channel, yeah. like like if HBO was on a hundred, yeah. And you, if you went between ninety nine and a hundred really fast, you, you could get, get like a, <laughs> you get like a, you got like you got like a second of it before you got it just scrambled, enough? right? Before it scrambled. Oh my god! But I was like fucking thirteen, right? You know? right. So you were desperate. You were thirsty. Like you're like, but there was no internet. Can you but, imagine? Right. God only knows so, you wouldn't have played any baseball in high school. <laughs> so if you had the internet. So the so the the difference is that I think that's. Part of what's led to this is it's just available anytime, everywhere, any mm-hmm. kind, all that kind of stuff. And so there's it just the the thrill is gone. I think that's the kind of what's led to the thrill is gone thing. Mm-hmm. If I had to, if I had to say that, but I also think there's that maturity too, to where it's just that, like it's it's not that. And and then obviously, if you're getting it regularly yeah. and really, really well, then yeah. you know what I mean. I mean. I'm sure that there's still times where there's, you know, got a guy just needs a release and be done with it. But it's like my imagination now is like, I, well, if I, I just, need that, I just, I just do find that. it. I, but, I just, I but I think it. the answer is both. I think I don't want you yeah. to think that's a cop out. I, no, I truly no, no, think no. it's a combination of maturity and it's just meh. It's just not necessary. I think you know? for me, what I mean as an, uh, just as an, an observer is a, a not of porn but of men, is that it's uh, if it's so easy to ha- access now, there's no. There's nothing tantalizing about that. Right. There's nothing tantalizing after a while. Maybe initially it's probably super great to be able to find the most disgusting things on the planet on your phone whenever you feel like it. Yeah. But after a while, it's like, oh, I saw that disgusting thing and I've seen that. <laughs> I mean, can, can her butt get any more dilated? I don't think so. So right. you just move on. So I'm, I'm kind of curious if it's just like being desensitized. Yeah, that I think that all fits in with yeah. the, with the idea that it's just so it's just, available. Right? I guess what I find fascinating, it's kind of like a sociological thing. Yeah. It's fascinating to see how when men have had complete and total access to literally the most debased, or not even debased, just the most access to sex, without you know you having a hundred women. Right, right. But it's like you literally can have. Any kind of woman, big, small, old, young, doing everything and anything, and you've seen it all, and after a while, you're like, this is just a cracker. You know, it's like, <laughs> right. you could have the hottest wife in the world, and you see these men who cheat on their hot wives. Like, how does that even happen? Yeah. How does that happen? Because they've had it. It's it's not hot su- anymore for I them. Suppose I suppose. And think- so I'm just wondering if that's what is happening to older men and porn. And 40 is not old. But, I mean, we're not talking about guys in puberty who where they literally cannot right. get enough. We're talking about men who have probably had a lot of sex. They've seen everything. And yeah. now they're like, ah, I prefer the real thing. Yeah, for sure. Actually, that's number one reason. Well, you say that, away. but would you have said that when you were 22? 
Probably not. If I was getting it as regularly as I am now. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, I, I mean, if you, you think back to what, what you were like when you were sure. at the height of. That, but that's why I said maturity and right. girl is gone. So. Right. I just find it amazing that not only are they claiming they're giving it up, but they're telling people. Let me like throw they're, out. They're vocalizing it. I don't think this is it, but I'm going to throw out a potential third reason. And I'm probably going to say this wrong, but do you think that. Me Too slash Women's Movement 2.0 is playing even a subconscious role in that? I would hope not. I mean, I would think not. That would seem weird to me. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking, like, I know that... um, I don't know. I mean, you're you're so much more aware of that stuff. Well, think about this. Like, all these guys that you said, like, all the guys you listen to, uh, Bert and Joe Rogan, they they all have daughters. They all have... You know, I'm just wondering, like, if that's... Although they probably wouldn't say it. Uh, because they don't strike you know me what? as the kind okay. of guys that would. But let me let me take. I'm, I'm let me walk that throwing, back. I'm, I'm at least throwing something else out there than back. just the what I think is the obvious. I think you might be right in that women are not viewed as they're not. They are objectified still. Yeah. But but women and men are looking at each other differently in now. Yeah. Uh, truly looking at women as anything more than just you know, something to have sex with. I mean, you can find a, a woman incredibly attractive still, yeah. but you don't turn to your guy friends at the office and go, hey, man, did you see what Patricia was wearing today? Yeah. You know, I mean, maybe that happens. Well, yeah, I, I'm sure it still happens. I, but I, I'm sure it does. What I'm saying just, is that I, I do yeah. think you're kind of right in that society is kind of shaped a bit that women aren't these like voiceless just physical creatures they actually are quite brilliant like even if it's not something that somebody and, would have thought of no, i just wonder if I don't, it's playing some I don't, kind of and you're, role and that's it. the thing and you know the men specifically that i'm thinking of they all have daughters yeah all of them all from ages two yep. to you know 20 i know and so it's like maybe that's what it is it's like you know i personally I've told you I have delved into porn several times trying to see what the whole thing is about. And it could be there's a lot of reasons why I don't enjoy it, but I, I'm not aroused by it. I don't. Mm-hmm. All I see are girls who were molested by their uncle. I don't yeah. see what everyone else sees. And I think it's because of my background. It's, it has sure. nothing to do with sex uh, for me. So it what's, doesn't. what's what's Paula say? What's her attraction to it? Um, well, she's not, uh, prep? Sh- she's not getting laid. Right. Yeah. I mean, true. she's not yeah, getting but, any. But so she finds it arousing, you think? She says she does, huh? but it's not, everybody's got their thing though. Of course. Hers is different than a guy, you know, guys want to, I don't know what guys look at, but <laughs> they look at anything. They'll go, oh, that's interesting. Well, I mean, we are, as you've said many times on this show, visual, visual creatures, creatures yes. but um, yeah. So anyway, yes. I, I think I think those two that you posted are like a, a single reason, yes. which, is, which is a combination of maturity and meh, you know, like been there, done that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not doesn't have that same kind of appeal anymore. Um, not just because of maturity, but because of oversaturation. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, man. Easy I access, just think it's just cumulative. It. I think it's a but bunch I, of things. But I do think just off the top of my head, I wonder, you know, right, if, if, right. if that if. And and so maybe it's not just maturity. Maybe it's getting older and having daughters. Maybe it's you know. Maybe, well, it's you know, probably a bunch of things. Yeah. I just find it. I'm just so. No, I don't think there's any one reason for it. I'm just so fascinated by the, because I consider comedians canaries in the coal mine. They tend to pick up on. They have a. They have some kind of pulse. Yeah, on there's society a sixth sense about that things. nobody else has, yeah. and so when they start talking like that. Six months to a year from now, there's going to be some kind of news report out yep. of the Atlantic or Wall, sure. Wall Street Journal, and they'll be just like, interestingly, Pornhub's gone down 3%. Yeah. And, you know, their age demos have changed. I and- think you have that that sense, too, though. I, I You know, that's why you have a show. Your take on Perhaps. things is a little bit different, unique. Bizarre, you know, maybe maybe not unusual, as... Weird, maybe rare. I mean, it's quick, too, but I, I mean, I think your point about the comedians is that they pick up on things like that quickly because they observe the world differently. Very differently. So, anyway... Um, okay, so my second yeah, question yeah, you had two, right. is now I am to the depths of my soul <laughs> okay. did not recall ever saying this. Oh, I know what this but is. But if I die, yeah. which sister would you make your wife? Because apparently at some point... I claimed that they, that I would hand you off to the family. I heard that when I was editing the show. I was like, what? That somehow... 
you would get scooped up. I'm getting up, handed off? <laughs> scooped up by some to other some sibling. some younger Ugg? <laughs> so, what is your direct question? Is it, is it, is it, I mean, do I have to? No, like, you, no, no, no. Okay. Would you? No. Okay. Because I was under the impression that you looked at them as siblings. <laughs> We've been married. <laughs> I've known them for like, I mean, how old is Paula? You met her when she was 19. 40-ish? 40? Yeah, yeah exactly. I've known her over 20 years. Kid. I've known all of them over 20 years. Yes. And no, they're like siblings. They're not. I think the problem is. That's weird. Um, and my mother even has this, is that when there, whenever there's an, a male in the room, um, not, not, if they saw you all the time, it probably wouldn't be this way. But if there's a man in the room, you're like, I could get him if I wanted to. Oh, Jesus. And my mom does it. I've seen her do it. And she's one of the most conservative women I've ever met in my life. But when she's in a room with a male that is not normal. She turns on the she's show. She's like, hello, I'm Marva. I'm Jamie's mother. I know. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> and then I'm just she like, oh, my God. Up. Oh, my God. She becomes completely. So. Healthy of all maladies. <laughs> she is swift and spry There's and, no you know, has alcohol and everything. And I'm like, who is this person? She's your mother. She lips and clips and she's just <laughs> dazzling and queen. charming. She is the queen I of the I love eggs. your mom. She's so cool. Like, she didn't raise you, okay? I don't know who that is, but that's not the woman who so, raised me, okay? I'm the only... That's the woman that made me buy a brown skirt that was at a fashionable <laughs> length for a job interview, all right? I don't know who that is, but anyway, what now? Uh, no, I was just going to say I, I don't know how the how they would even fathom the handoff thing being a possibility. <laughs> I don't know, but they also but, think that we can, we can all be sister wives too, though, so... Oh, like big love? Yeah, you would just marry all of us. That's weird. Would you do it? <laughs> oh. Honey, <laughs> I, I am the founder of Uganon. I am the only surviving Which means member that you could of handle Uganon. It. And maybe that's why there's this, this mindset is like, mm -hmm. you know, finally somebody who has survived and gets us, you know, but I mean, <laughs> well, okay, it. so if, all right, so let me, well, this, this might, you may not answer this, but if, but if you had said handoff, yes. who would you pick? I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It kind of grosses me out. It makes me want to throw does. up a little bit. <laughs> and it's not because my sisters are gross. It's no, just the idea. I'm like, you know what? And then I just defer to, I'll be dead. I won't be able to do anything about sure. anything. Well, You're going to bring in some kind of gross hose anyway. No, I'm not. Yeah, you will. The girls won't let that happen. Our daughters will not let that happen. Just like your father pro said to shoot him if he ever wanted to get married again. And, and then a year later, guess what? Twice. I'm getting married. Has it been twice since then? <laughs> yes. No, maybe. I don't know. Next well, time I say, next time I say I want to get married, just shoot me. Yeah. I'm like, done and done. <laughs> oh, I, I'm in love. I'm getting married. Wait, six months ago, you asked us to murder you. <laughs> well, this is different this time. So you don't have a pick? It's, no, it's absolutely not. Right. I would never. They wouldn't anyway. <sighs> My sisters would think of you as a brother. They would know, never, ever look at you in that silly. way in a million years. I mean, it's hilarious to think that what I did say was that I was entrusting them along with your daughters, to ensure that you didn't marry some slut bag, gross gold digger. Not getting married again. Well, I'm not getting married again either. Well, I'm not doing this let's twice. Just, let's just not die. How's I, that? I swear to God, you know, after this much, putting this much time into a man and a relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry that it's been I, so exhausting the, for you. It is, it, it is exhausting. Do you see these bags under my eyes? That is you. You see this gray in my hair? Only one side is me. Okay. The other side is your daughter. <laughs> that's true. Daughters. Um, okay, that's true. Oh, can we talk about what our daughter did to us last night? Oh, God. So apparently... That, that made some extra gray hairs. If you have a Samsung 8... I think iPhone has something like this, though. Well, they have a 911 button, but yeah. apparently you can program your phone. She has a Samsung Galaxy 8, and if you hit a button three times, it will send an SOS with you've a pre picture... You've pre-programmed A picture, right? map, coordinates... And a text saying, help, I need help. And 
all I see is this picture of Mackenzie, and I think she's at the register getting robbed. That's literally what I thought. Yeah, I thought she was in the bathroom hiding. Because she was at her work when we got this yeah. text message at like 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday. And so I said, it says she needs help. And everybody's phones go off. And I said, all right, we'll go. I'll be right behind you. 10 seconds later, you know, and God forbid, pick up the phone and just call us and she's let us know. She's texting you. She's texting. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you get a weird text from me? I'm like, Mackenzie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? I'm like, oh my God. So I called her. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I have this thing <laughs> where it'll SOS my emergency contacts. I'm like, you have to pick up a phone when you do this. You were so worked up. Yeah. That you went downstairs, you never returned, you yeah. mowed lawns, you groomed I, I dogs. Per, I seemed to do two hours of housework because I had a bunch of nervous energy. I knew it, too, because I'm like, I'm not surprised, you know, I, yeah. I figured. Because I was like, well, I, I guess Saturday well, morning sex is not racing. happening. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing. Wait, that was on the table? Yes, that's why I thought we were still in our room. God damn it, what about today? <laughs> so, anyway. Ugh. It's not like it's been a month, we, you know. show's over. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, what is your quote? I know where you live. I know where you live. So there we go. There we go. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, she blames having no phone cover, so I immediately bought her a phone cover, and it arrived today. She will be receiving it. Yeah. And we'll be putting it on her phone immediately. God. Children. <sighs> I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> they just exhaust me. Anyway, um, okay, well, I, we're going to skip ugly and awkward moment of the week yeah. because you're not ugly and awkward. I'm only ugly and awkward, and um, so I think I should just save mine for yeah. next ugly and awkward moment of the week. Uh, so when Paula comes back, we will recap, I'm sure, her um, her take on UFC because she's going to have some thoughts. Um, also, yeah, she was disappointed in the Jones. Fight. Well, because she it's te- because we discussed it technical. Sure. Um, Ryan was disappointed as well, her son. And then we will recap the uh, many adventures of taking three 10-year-olds to a hotel for a birthday party. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Yes. Um, uh, something I wish I had done, actually. That's a really That's good cute. idea. Because, well, it keeps them out of the house, which is great. Right. They had access to a huge pool, a restaurant. I mean, no, room smart. service. Oh, God, it was such a good idea. I wish I had done that. So, anyway, we'll hear all about her adventures with the children on Wednesday's show. Yes. Uh, anything to add? No. I'm good to go. No Amazon Prime Days? No Lippin' Yeah, Flip.com. actually, let's do that. Um, so, guys, if you really want to support the show and um, my salary, it's not a salary. Um, <laughs> we, take the, we take the money that jingles, but we prefer the money that folds. Yes. Um, please go to uglytruth.com, U-G-L-E-E dot com truth dot com uh, slash shop and just click on the amazon link mm-hmm. the amazon prime shopping days are the 15th, 15th and 16th, 16th. but you, if you go now if you're not a prime member go now because you get use that same link sign up now get free the 30 day free trial and then you still get all the deals even if you don't continue the yes. prime membership although you probably will and they're also really promoting use of their app this year yes um, if, you open, if you open if you open up the app for the first time you get ten dollars credit and if you make a purchase you get ten dollars more credit for more purchases yeah and it's i believe like it's free. yeah no it's it's you got to do it it's um, we appreciate the help on it, and then of course, lipandclip.com. Everyone, they have some really cute products right now. Uh, summer's in full swing. The Crave lip glosses are like three bucks a piece. I have three of them, and I use them all in Hawaii. And the Magic uh, t- tint tinted moisturizer, I use that every single day in Hawaii. Every single day. In yeah. fact, I'm out. I had to order more. Oh, so oh there you go. One more thing. Mm. Um, we haven't asked for this in a long time, but if you are a fan of the show. Uh, Review us. Whatever podcast oh, yeah. player you use, if you Leave use iHeartRadio or um, I, um, it's not iTunes anymore, Apple Apple Music, music or whatever it is, um, Spotify, any of them. We're everywhere. Stitcher, um, Play yeah, a Pod. Yeah, yeah, there are I so Heart. many, but anywhere you you listen to us, please leave us a review. Mm-hmm. Um, that'll help grow the show. And we really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening and sharing the show. See you next time on The Ugly Truth.